All right, I'm Roxana uh, with 160 Driving Academy and today we'll be going over part B of the pre-trip on a freight liner. So the first thing you wanna start off is you get the, open the door and you get the binder and give it to the examiner. Then you start off talking about your mirror and mirrors and your mirror brackets are properly mounted and secure, not cracked into broken and all bolts are present. Then you talk about your door. Your door opens and closes properly and your hinges are not loose or worn. Door seal has no damage and is intact and not leaky. Your light. Your light is properly mounted and secure. Lens are not cracked, bent, or broken. Functions as a turn signal, four-way flasher, and marker light. Amber in color and works properly. Door steps. Door steps are properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, free of debris, and will support driver's weight. From there, you will go into the fuel area. The fuel area is properly mounted and secure by straps or bands not cracked, bent, or broken, not leaking, and fuel cap is on tight. Then from there, you'll go into your DEF tank. Your DEF tank is properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. DEF cap is on tight. From there, you would walk all the way around in front of your truck. And you would come and point to the exhaust. The exhaust is properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. No signs of leaks, such as black soot around the connections. Then you walk back. Then you will talk about your catwalk and your steps. And they're properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. Free of debris and will support driver's weight. Then you'll talk about your drive shaft. Drive shaft is not bent, twisted, or damaged. Then your U joints in the back and in the front are free of damage and debris. And they're not bent, twisted, or damaged for the drive shaft. Then you go into your frame. Your frame and your cross member are properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and no illegal welds. Torsion bar. Torsion bar is properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. Bolts and bushings are intact with no damage. Front and rear spring hangers are properly mounted and secure to the frame, not cracked, bent, or broken. Springs. Springs are properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, not shifted or misaligned, and no illegal welds. Then from there, you would go into your U-bolts. Your U-bolts. Your U-bolts are properly mounted and secure to the axle, not cracked, bent, or broken. From there, you go to your shock absorber. Your shock absorber is properly mounted and secure by top and bottom bolts. Bushings are intact, and the shock is not cracked, bent, or broken, and not leaking. Then from there, you go to the airbag support. Airbag support, top and bottom, are properly mounted and secure. No missing parts, not cracked, bent, or broken. Then the airbag. The airbag is properly mounted and secure by top and bottom. No abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking. Then from there, you go into your brake airlines. Your brake airlines are properly mounted and secure to the brake chamber, okay? From your brake chamber, you go back to the brake airlines and say, no abrasion, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking. And then from there, you're gonna talk about your brake chamber. Your brake chamber is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. The band or clamp is in place, and the brake chamber is not leaking. From there, you're gonna go to your slack adjuster. Your slack adjuster is properly mounted and secured to the push rod with pins and keepers, brakes release, and slack adjuster adjuster travels no more than one inch. If so, have it adjusted before trip. Then from there, you go into your brake lining and brake shoes. Properly mounted and secure with no loose or missing parts, not cracked, bent, or broken. Linings are not worn dangerously thin to less than a quarter inch. From there, you would go into your brake drum. 
Move and look again. Point. Properly mounted, secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, free of oil, grease, and debris. From there, you're going to go to your tire side walls. Inner, outer, outer. Tire side walls are both free of damage, such as abrasion, bulges, or cuts. Then, tire face. Tire face. Both tires are evenly worn with no damage. Both have a minimum thread depth of 232. Both are properly inflated to the manufacturer's specifications. From there, you go to your wheel spacing or butt spacing. Tires are not rubbing or touching and no debris is wedged between the tires. From there, you're gonna come out and do your rim. Your rim. So you're gonna do your inner and outer rim are properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and no illegal welds. From there, you're gonna go to your lug nuts. Lug nuts are properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, none are missing. Look for signs of looseness, such as rust trails or shiny threads. Holes are not distorted or oblong. Axle seal, inner and outer axle seal are properly mounted and secure and not leaking. Then you're gonna talk about your tire valve stem. Inner and outer, valve stems are probably not secure, not leaking, and the caps are in place. Then from there, I'm going to check my third axle. I would inspect my third axle the same way I did my second axle. Then I go back to your muff flaps. Your muff flaps are probably not secure to the tractor, and it's not damaged or missing, not dragging on the ground, no more than eight inches from the ground, not rubbing on the tires, okay? And the reflective tape is properly displayed, clean, and visible. Then you come to your lights. Your lights, which are your brake lights, tail lights, left and right turn signal, four-way flashers, are properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, red in color, and working properly. Your reverse light, properly mounted and secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, clear or white in color, and working properly. Then from there, are you going to say, I would inspect my passenger side of the tractor the same way I did the driver's side. From there, you're gonna ask, you're gonna go into your coupling. Then from your coupling, you're gonna be done with that and ask them to help you with your light check. Once you do your light check, then you're gonna go into your end cab and you're gonna finish all your end cab. And once you're done, you say, this completes my pre-trip inspection. Thank you guys. This is part B.